last mile delivery of technologies has been a major challenge in agricultural ecosystems and a setback to farmers looking to multiply their production. Most farmers in rural areas who need such technologies are forced to cover long distances and incur substantial costs to access information, inputs, technologies and markets. Kulikuwa na changamoto ya 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 biashara na kulikuwa tena na changamoto ya jinsi ambavyo watu watapokea bidhaa zao za ukulima na zaidi ya hivyo watu walishindwa jinsi ambavyo o, watakuwa na teknolojia mpya ya kuweza uh, kufanya ukulima wao as such governments development partners and projects have for long sought interventions that will allow delivery of end to end solutions directly to the farmer to minimize cost of production and maximize productivity. The Syngenta Foundation for Sustainable Agriculture is at the forefront of offering such interventions. In Kenya and through its agri-services stream, the foundation is offering farmers a one-stop shop by implementing the Farmer Hub model. The model was first established in Nyandaro County in 2018 building from lessons learned implementing the same model in Bangladesh and the agripreneur model in India. Basically, the Farmer Hub model identifies a rural entrepreneur, referred to as a Farmer Hub owner, who serves a group of between 150 and 200 farmers, providing a one-stop shop for all farmers' agricultural needs. These enterprising hub owners do so by offering the following services. Access to agri-inputs, access to mechanization, access to market linkages, and advisory services offered through organizing field day trainings and establishing demonstration farms. In the farmer hub model, we have four players. At the core of it is the farmer. Who is our client? Who is our target? We go to the farmers through farmer hubs. We don't go to the farmer hub directly. We still have another uh, player who is a network manager. In terms of hierarchy, we have the farmers who are attended to by the farmer hubs, who are then attended to by the network managers, who are then attended to by the foundation. We are in Nyandara, we are in Nakuru, uh, we are in Bungoma and Busia. Uh, we are also in Homa Bay, Migori and Kisumu. Upon joining the program, there are a series of capacity building sessions for the farmer hub owner and the network manager through an incubation program. The programs are designed to support development of rural agri-entrepreneurs and build on their entrepreneurial skills, enabling them to perform their operations efficiently and profitably. Our incubation program uh, was incepted in uh, two counties of uh, Nakuru and Nyandarwa in the year 2020. Uh, we began uh, initially by recruiting a total of uh, 90 farmer hubs who were being managed by seven network managers. Uh, these uh, farmer hubs were basically taking care of uh, 10,000 farmers. By identifying rural entrepreneurs, we are first empowering the local community. Uh, this means that we are not getting outsiders, we are working with the people who are existing. We have existing uh, lead farmers, we have existing uh, coaches. So ours is to identify such like people who already have a network of farmers and then we help them set up as entrepreneurs. So in our selection criteria we really have it as paramount that they have uh, entrepreneurial mindsets because this is uh, critical and paramount to their success. James Ndongo, the proprietor of Jekam Enterprises, located in Kinangop, Nyadaro County, is one such entrepreneur. James began as an ordinary potato farmer, farming to fend for himself and his family. After joining the program and going through the capacity building sessions, James has so far graduated to a network manager, serving 15 farm hub owners and close to 1,300 farmers. He has also begun an expanded business in selling certified potato seeds as well as other agricultural inputs. And kwa hivyo tumesaidika na farmers hub wetu pia wamesaidika kwa sababu there is no day 
that uh, they are not visited by people. They are visited by people now and then because they are seen, they, they have something that other people, farmers don't, don't have. All through from uh, when he, he, he entered in as a farmer, he has managed to actually grow his business to a level that right now he is operating at a, uh, a threshold of uh, business, uh, uh, a threshold of gross margin of up to 2.6 million within three months. So, uh, from all the services that uh, a farmer hub should be able to offer, uh, we realize that uh, Jacob Enterprises is already offering almost 90% uh, of them, and uh, that to us is a very, very great achievement uh, that the model is very, very proud of. I hub Jacob. Juri tunakuja tunakuja kushukua begu hapa na na bidhaa zingine za mashaba tena ninapata masomo kutoka kwake He started as farmers advisors doing major training in collaboration with the CGA Ministry of Agriculture later Sgenta Foundation and CGA recruited us to the pilot hubs in Nakuru County Michael Washira organized and launched his network, the Umoja Farmers Agri Hub. The group has expanded and has already registered as a self help group with the Ministry of Social Services. This, as Michael says, will help them gain access to lots of opportunities. Washira's group is a, a success story, to say the least, uh, because we started off with Washira as a farmer hub. And so he was serving a certain set of farmers. To see Washira aggregate, elevate from being a farmer hub to a network manager, to mean that he's covering a certain geographical location, a wider one to say so, and he's now responsible of setting up other farmer hubs, for us is an indication of growth. <laughs> lakini tukiigia hapa iko mashini kama tano za kuspray. Kwa hivyo mimi hata nikipewa eka hamsini tumefunza mavijana wenye wanafanya hiyo kazi. Samani nilikuwa nafanya ni mimi nilikuwa najifanyia. Lakini saa hii hata ninaajiri watu. Siku hiyo siku na duka. Manufaa ya kwanza hii duka tulijenga pamoja na Sigenta Foundation. Wamenisaidia sana. Kutoka hapo si nimeweka duka. Kuna manufaa mingi sababu ni duka saa hii iko na vitu ni kuuza tu up past nakuru city hidden calmly in the green land of highly industrious people is the solai two farmers hub the proprietor timothy nganga who is also a member of the umoja farmers agri hub realized his dream of being a tractor owner Despite starting out as a linkage between farmers and tractor owners, today he is confident that he will use his own tractor to serve his farmers better and expand his reach. Wakati nilikuwa naanzisha hata sikuwa na pesa mingi. Kwanza nilinunua punda. Wakati nilinunua punda, nilikuwa kitu kama punda nikanunua kama 1000 hadi 1000. Nikaenda kama nimepanda ngazi kidogo. Wakati nikaanza nilikuwa naanzia pesa chini, lakini sasa hii Mungu amenibariki baka nimepata baka milioni moja na nitaendelea kwa sababu hizo pesa ninunua tinga tinga zimetokana na hii kazi yenye nimefanya katika hub the farmers hub model has created many employment opportunities hub owners are engaging youth and women to offer services such as spraying and mechanization an instrumental tool in completing value chains is the e hub the tool assists farmer hubs to keep track of their sales, know the status of their stocks, and it also acts as a record for all customers. The farmer hubs are actually uh, taken through a session where they are trained on how best to capture data or records, and these records are uh, uploaded in, into our uh, e-application system called the e-hub. This e-hub works in a system whereby it captures all the transactions or across the value chain from transaction from the agri inputs mechanization advisory and all the activities that the the network managers or the farmer hubs does so this digital platform works in a way that it captures the information of the purchases whereby where the farmer or the farmer hub purchased the inputs and to whom it was sold to. All this information is captured 
in the platform and in the portal of the specific Pharma Hub. So basically how this portal is created is we are able to create a portal for each Pharma Hub. Key for us here is sustainability and how we approach sustainability is that because we are setting these people up as entrepreneurs, we also plug in our partners as businesses. So uh, the partners that we plug in and our entrepreneurs have a business relationship and this cascades down to uh, the particular products and services that the farmer will be able to enjoy at the ground level. We have seen cases of um, farmer have starting off without stores. Uh, they have grown to having stores. They have grown to stocking more than one product. We have seen farmer hubs even stocking animal products, so they moved from crop to animal products. And that's, this just goes to show that um, the model just opens the mind of anyone who's entrepreneurial. With such interventions, it is safe to say, revolution in the agricultural sector is well on course. As the skies bless us with rains, farmer hub owners continue to assist farmers to put it into profitable use by maximizing productivity. It all started in Nyandarwa and Nakuru counties, but in the end, through its growth and expansion, it will result in a well-fed nation and lots of well-to-do farmers. The future is bright. Uh, the impact is immense and uh, we can only give it our best. <laughs>